going on guys? My name is Steve and Sam. Take the satellite to the uplink station. On the map Dauntless. And this is a um this is not a gameplay video sort of thing. This is talking about a specific weapon that mostly everyone uses around the Black Ops 3. And it's the best one. And what I've noticed is that the Vesper was always been a good gun, except for except for this um, update that came out on February 5th. And this has changed the game of people view. But the Vesper clearly is not good. If you see right there that the recoil is so out of control, like it just stutters, like it moves to the right or the left. Cannot control it whatsoever most of the time. Lost the satellite. And just for whatever reason, it's hostiles just, have the satellite drone. You know, it, it just, it's just not good. Because you see how it's just not straight. It just either moves to the left, either moves to the right, it makes little circles. It's just, yeah, <laughs> I don't like it. Now, I don't. I don't know if it's just the eight Most of the UAV but I just think that they decreased it by a little bit. I don't know if it's the eight or if it's just, uh, it probably is me. Friendly has the satellite throw. Because I don't know if they decreased the damage, but I know they increased the recoil. Okay? They did. I know they did. Because it's not stable like the eight but I know it is. I really think that, see look, it, it moves to the right. This is fear mode, but see, it should have killed him. But in other, in other words, the damage is really not that good either. I don't know why. And don't get me wrong, I do love the Vesper. I, I really do like it. Now, as soon as I fall off the map. I really do like the Vesper. I think it's a good gun, but I wouldn't use it a lot. I would use it for close range encounters, but mid range, no. Not in my not in my example. See how it just completely moves. Because I'm looking at it right now and trying to kill someone. And it just moves automatically to the left instead of the right. You know, I'm just, I don't know what the best SMG is. There's a lot of other SMGs. There's the Buddha, there's the BMP, then there's the Razorback. The Razorback recently got a ton of uh, range damage, and a lot, I see it mostly in the few people use that. BMP people still use that. I just, I just can't believe that the Vesper has so much uh, recoil now. And again, I fall off the map. That's just something I want to talk to you guys about. I mean, yeah, it was a little bit overpowered, but, you know, they could have done something, like the range again, if it did last time, but maybe they were smarter to maybe increase the recoil. It's like adding a rapid fire. You probably add another rapid fire, you'll probably have the most recoil in the That's just something I want to thank you guys about. This is not some normal gameplay. We did win, obviously. We did win. Uh, yeah, see, I'm only 12 and 8. It's really not that shocking. I mean, they had to do something because it was really what people, most gun people used. In the end, I still get a relentless amount of hit marks from like, from like close to medium range. But, you know, that's just something I want to talk to you guys about. Say your opinion if you think that's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. A little bit. Now, will people use this in competitive? So, not, I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. I mean, yeah, they can ban it. But people will still use the BMP. And people will still use the CUDA. So, I think this was kind of a good idea. Kind of. But that's just that's just something I want to talk about. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and do, and do all that if you haven't already. This has been Steve. And I'll just
just wait till half time and good. Half time goes, and I'll see you guys in the next video. We lost that engagement. Regroup and go again.